Alex Hormozzi is an Iranian-American entrepreneur, investor, author, actor, and speaker, known for his diverse investments and business expertise. This is what he says. The monetization structure behind it, uh, you're going to want to play with these variables so that you can optimize your throughput so you can get the most amount of sales or most amount of cash up front, depending on whatever it is that you're optimizing for. All right. So it's not to say that you should do all five of these things because sometimes you are going to be leaving a lot of money on the table because ultimately you want to remove as few of these or sorry, as many of these as you can because they're all uh, bottlenecks on the amount of volume. you're. And so each of these will increase quality, but typically decrease volume. And so these are the trade offs that you'll do in the marketing side. Uh, that you, these are the variables that you'll play with in order to get the uh, the optimal setup for sales. All right. So without further ado, the five ways uh, that you can increase lead quality. Uh, number one, uh, your targeting. All right. So the targeting, uh, you can do this in a couple of ways. One is you can just do it by zip code. Other you can do it by uh, by income level or profession. Uh, those are all things that you can do to immediately increase lead quality. If you go to only the rich zip codes, you're going to uh, you know higher quality lead. Right. That being said. Uh, if you're doing those zip codes, just understand that other people are also marketing this and they will probably be more expensive and you're going to be lower. So there's number one is the targeting, right? Number two is the number of steps that they have to jump through, right? If someone has to do 10 steps in order to get on the phone with you versus one step, they're going to be more qualified because they took more action. So they're more in pain and they're more likely to want to uh, work with you, right? Or they were more compelled by the offer headlines, et cetera. So that will increase the lead quality as well. Uh, number two is sorry. Number three, excuse me, is the uh, the nature of the offer. All right, so a free offer versus a paid offer, uh, or a free amazing giveaway uh, compared to a click here to schedule a sales call is going to create a very different type of prospect. Right, not all leads are created equal, and so um, if you are having someone opt in for a giveaway, you will have more volume by a ton. Um, and so that's where I, there's so much uh, emphasis on the monetization structure behind it, the mousetrap that you've built in order to, like, if you have a giveaway, there, I've, I know plenty of people in the industry that do get crush it because they have a good mousetrap behind it and they take advantage of them. Um, but if you don't do a giveaway and you do a straight to call, then that person is more qualified than someone, right? Uh, the fourth is going to be an application, right? So if you have, uh, application is sort of the same thing as ha adding a step, but it's different enough that I figured it was worth mentioning. So you can have like four pages in a row that only require one checkbox. Uh, or you can have one page that has a lot of questions on it, right? And so, and the nature of the application, you have lots of paragraph questioning, more work, and therefore a higher quality lead compared to lots of check boxes and a right type questions for the applicant. So that's uh, another thing that you can do to implement uh, to increase the quality of the leads that are coming through. Simply adding an application where they have access to you will increase the quality of the lead. And you can also, there's a lot of psychology behind the questions that you're asking in the application. So getting them to state their goal, getting them to state that they have a problem, uh, getting to understand what their biggest unknowns are and the, and the things that they're struggling, uh, understanding that, you know, setting the precedent that there is going to be an expense. Are they willing to invest in, you know, in, in a solution for their problem? And if you want to and have big balls, which I would encourage you to do, um, put some sort of minimum amount. If you're, if you're, if your things, you know, let's say your things a thousand bucks say, Hey, are you willing to spend at least $500 on the thing? It doesn't mean it has to be that, but at least it gets them in the ballpark around where you're getting it, right? Before we continue, help us clicking that YouTube like button and subscribe now to our channel. This shows the algorithm that you valued this information. And it helps us spread that message. Sharing is caring. And now, let's continue. And then, um, finally, uh, the fifth thing that you can do to increase the quality of the leads is provide value first. All right, so this is going to be the actual content of the advertising itself and the video itself. So if you have a video that's incredibly compelling, um, but doesn't necessarily uh, explain anything uh, or add value to the consumer, then you might get lots of leads, but the quality might not be as high versus a video that might be five minutes long and provides a tremendous amount of value, tactical importance that they can immediately implement in their lives. Uh, then that person uh, might be more qualified if they come in like you. This person has already provided me value. I already know that they're good at what they do. And so it gives you a more authoritative positioning um, in the prospect's mind uh, so that they... Uh, all right, so uh, there's lots of ways to increase quality of the lead. The, the trade-off and where you have to come in as a business owner, not just a marketer, is understanding how your business model works behind it. My two cents on this is that I try and start with the biggest, widest net as possible and then work backwards. And so what I mean is I just want to get flow. Once I get flow, then I'm going to try and create a series of offers and upsells on that flow uh, that will allow me to make more money on the customer because the worst thing in the world is not having any flow to begin with. And so I would rather start with a much wider net and then create a series of offers and indoctrinations and pre-frames that after I get the flow, uh, we'll get someone to give us more money. And typically, 
if you are good about your sales engineering uh, and choreography behind the behind the app, behind the application, behind the call, that's the model itself. Then you should know what your numbers are on, let's say, a free trial or whatever it may be. You should know that for every one dollar I put in here. At day 15, I'm at $1. At day 30, I'm at $3.5, at $7. If you don't have those numbers, it will be much more difficult to make decisions about your marketing uh, without that. And so, all that being said, uh, the time to use these five increasing in quality uh, type applications is when you have so much volume and the, the quality of the prospects is so low that you are willing to sacrifice uh, half the throughput or a third of the throughput on the advertising to either get a uh, higher higher ticket or uh, to accommodate for your operational capacity, right? If I can get, let's say I, I'm booking some sort of national campaign and I'm going uh, straight to call, if my team can't handle as many and I don't mind doubling my lead cost uh, to get to put a fence up uh, because I, I, I can't even handle the flow that's coming in, then in that instance, it would be worth it for me to double my lead cost. It doesn't matter as, as much to me and I, I can't handle the operational flow. Um, but for me personally, I tend to start with the biggest net and try and see what I can do in the back end and put the onus or the responsibility on the model and the monetization structures and the sales seat so that I can afford whatever I want and then ultimately have a high volume, high ticket sale uh, or get sale type. Bit. You've rinsed and repeat that exact same brick in the gym or the supplement gym launch. Uh, now the, uh, the online fitness, you know, seven figures, they're able to get the same average price point on these clients as they were before, except they're able to get an unlimited lead flow and the average the cost per lead is a fifth, right? And so as long as we can make the machine behind it work, which took us three or four iterations to get it really tweaked and we need to do so, um, put the onus on the model rather than on the marketing and typically you'll make more money. Small ebook, big impact, the wealth tree, the only four ways that will make you financially free forever. Download it here for free.